Okay, gentlemen and ladies, I want to go over logo design. Now, a logo can be a simple logo with just words, or it could have shapes around it. It could even be a circle. Here's examples of some. Now, one thing you need to know about a logo is the more simple it is, the easier it's going to be for printing. It should also be kind of brand loyal, meaning that like it's specific to what your product is. And it could also have some kind of relevance to you individually and uniquely. Best logos do that, like BMW used to be an aircraft uh, agency and they now have a little bit of the propeller still within their cars so a little bit of trivia these are the kinds of things that make a real successful logo McDonald's is one of the most popular logos those golden arches are so simple for printing this is very cost efficient um, snapchat these are things you're gonna wanna really consider NBC see how primitive this logo is how easy it is to make the only one I would say is really oh this is a classic classic logo of coca-cola the way that it's even written you know um, Starbucks is another one when you're making your logo you want solid colors if you wanna save on printing you don't wanna make a logo that has gradients in it like this it's annoying with that said you can make a logo a shape or you can make it into words it's funny logos right so what we're gonna do first and foremost I have a logo here. This is my actual logo I made. I'm going to show you how to make this simple little logo right here. You can also add shapes and things like that to it. So let's do it. First things first. I'm going to open up my Photoshop document. I'm going to go into a new one. I want to make a logo. It's going to be my name, which is DR. So I'll click on the letter D. I want to do Arial and bold font. You could do any font you want. In my case, I'm going to show you how I made that logo. I click the T for text, hit the letter D. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger by hitting Control T. Control T. Hold Shift, grab a edge, and it makes it bigger. Drag it down. So there's the D. I'm going to actually flip the D. Hold Shift, and go the other way. So there's the D. Now that I have it this way, hit the Apply tool. This one is my D, and I'll make my R. Very simple. This is so easy to do. I've made another copy. I'm going to click the move tool, move it, I'm going to hit control T, flip it, and now I've got the D flipped, move tool, apply, move it over, alright, could be DD, I'm going to make it an R, I'm going to highlight this D, call it an R, and call it a day, so there's DR, I'm going to move DR, I'm going to hold shift, and select the D as well, I can move them both, if you don't select shift, you're only going to move one letter, I'm kind of annoying. So hold shift, select the other image or text layer or whatever, and you can select more than one layer. Now, I'm going to write my name out, Dino. So I'll duplicate this layer, or you could write it yourself. I'm just going to duplicate it to keep the text the same. You could do it a little bit differently. So I'll take this layer here, and I'll move it over here. I'm going to hit Control T, and make sure it's written in the right way. Flip it this way, and I'll hold Control T, shrink it a bit. There you have it. It's about right. D. Click the move tool and apply. I'll spell the rest of my name out. I N O. That's legit. That's okay. I'll go to Edit Free Transform, which is Control T. I want it a little smaller, just a little bit, and maybe a little bit wider. Right about there, maybe wider. Yeah, that's fine. And that's legitimate. Now let's see the other one. There's my old one. And here's my new one. So I'll take the Dino, I'll move it into here. Put them up there. That's fine. Now I'll take Dino, I'll duplicate it. Dino copy, hold shift, move it over. And I'm going to name this Reese, my last name, right here. I'll highlight it. T for text, highlight it for Reese. R I E S E. Okay. Move tool and apply. There we get it. Now, let's highlight this thing. Highlight it. We want to make it a gray. I made it a gray. There's that gray. And we'll highlight the other one and make this one gray. Gray. Now I've got my name and Dino Reese written. I made a quick little simple logo. I mean, this is such a simple little quick thing to do. But... When someone made that M for McDonald's, they didn't know what they were in for. So here's what you're going to do next. You can do crazy. Once you have your logo, you could decorate it with content. 
So I could make other lines like this. A quick little line. I could put that line over here. I can make that line up a little bit. I could do a double line if you want. You could make this part of your logo where you have a double rectangular line. I'm not going to go nuts with this because there's really, it's only limited by your subjectivity and your creative, uh, you know, mind frame. So that I could keep it right there, right? You could do other stuff. This right here is a logo. And I'm going to show you how this little logo is applied. I could also write in script. I could write other stuff in script where it would be, uh, instead of Arial, I'll make it a, let's see if I wrote in script. Uh, I'm going to do this one. Uh, I don't like that one either. Let's see, a script, a script, a script. Come on, give me a good script. All right, I'll try this one out and see how it goes. I'm going to put my first name, D-I-N-O. Oops. D-I-N-O. And you could highlight that. You can make it black. Okay. Control T. And you can make it bigger. And you can actually put other stuff. You know, like you can have it where it's written on you here. It could be part of that. You know, there's no right or wrong really with a logo. You just want a brand loyal name yourself, all right? If you really wanted to get crazy and nuts, you could do stuff like this. Highlight this, make this white, move it over to here, and you can go Control T, flip it, and we could put my name inside my letters and go nuts. You know, I mean, uh, I could really go berserk with this stuff, and I encourage you to do so. If this is what you're going to be, um, you know, if this is your your brand, and you have an innovative way you want to display it, do it. It's fine. All right. Um, there is absolutely zero issues with that with me. So let's just say that, let's just say you wanted to call, leave it there and call it a day. You know, that's, you know, that's just horrible. All right. So you could put your name inside other things, things like that. If you wanted to go nuts. All right. With that said, that was a one idea you can do. Let me just hit control T. I don't really like the way that it's coming out with that because I'm improv on you guys and trying to do something a little bit innovative. So you could show on the fly how you can kind of do stuff. But um, if I wanted to just leave my name there, I'll call it a day. No one's the Dino Reese police aren't gonna come and say, "No, why is your name there?" You know what? I'll put my name over it too. I don't even like it, but it's an option. All right, that's an option you can do. You could script your name. Now, the reason I showed you how to make this easy logo is if you go to the site, the actual other places, I'll show you how it's made. Here's other places where logos are where I put my logo. Here's Google Plus. Um, this is my Google Plus account. If you click on here, there's my logo, and I'm a graphic designer and web designer, but I also put little glowing filtered edges around the DR of it. These are things that you can do. Here's uh, the background, which is what I do, like e-commerce. I do um, all different types of things. So this is where you can incorporate your logo into this, and you can now show how to do any field it could be. Like this fake one here for e-commerce, e whatever. You could do that. Or you could do for um, maybe bake cakes. I don't know. So here's another, another one. Here's LinkedIn. You could do it for LinkedIn as well. All right. You guys have examples of how your logo fits into there. All right. And then I have um, other examples of it. I'll show you a really awesome example of how the logo. Um, you can make Facebook banners. Or you can make banners for advertising. Here's another one. Um I use the different projects that we have done to make this banner. All right. And if you look in here, here is the city inside the name. The reason, the way that I did this was by going and revisiting the name portrait project inside the uh, units that were before this one. See how the script is written over regular block text. This technique really is effective when you want stuff to stand out in a real elegant way. I like doing that. I do that with the name portrait as well when I teach that. But to make this is not very hard when you want to brand something that's going to go into something like this. Let me make a new tab for you guys. Here's how a logo would fit in. It goes onto a top of a page. It can go into the middle, the bottom of a page. And it could also go onto your business cards, which are all could be done right here. 
these are business cards and then you can make really cool cards like this one see that card see how the logo is in on the card that's actually a real business card that I've created and you see the logos right there for printing make your logo as easy as possible but make it really uh, an effective communicator which would be this and this will now transcend into all of this okay and it goes on to all different mobile responsive devices all right just a little quick synapse if you wanted to just get a quick shape of something if you go into other logos and stuff let's say that you just like the certain shape of something um, let's just say you wanted a bird like for this Twitter someone liked it maybe they copied the image or they just wanted a piece of an image and uh, let's see uh, let's just say I wanted this Nike symbol which I really don't want to take Nike um, if I wanted just this this one little area to put that on my logo I could right click copy the image go into Photoshop edit paste there's that image I'm gonna move it now if I just want this little piece over here I can do this grab the magic wand tool click this hit control X get rid of this guy I don't need you anymore you're gone but I can hit control V and now lo and behold I've got that little piece so you can add this on to other parts of your logo maybe you want to make feathers over here you know logos they come in all different shapes and sizes you don't want to be offensive you also don't want to be over the top showing um, you know uh, strong content in any way uh, variety is you know the spice of life you don't want to be too much so make your logo tasteful make it clear concise right to the point and the best logos really have some authentic meaning okay um, the reason my D is backwards and my R is forwards because my whole entire life I've had to take one step backward to take two steps forward that's why Dino Reese is written in that manner so you know I, I shared a little bit of something with you I'd like you to share something with your people when you make your logo enjoy this thank you